Hello, I am Pragya Dhakar, Assistant Professor of Science Department at Biani Girls College. I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPU. Today, I will be delivering my lecture on the topic Jal Electrophorus. This technique, uh, uh, this technique called as the Jal Electrophorus is, involves the application of electric field and is used for the separation of charged molecules like amino acids, RNA, DNA, protein, etc. Now, let me define you what is electrophoresis. Electro word refers to the energy of electricity while the phoresis has come from the Greek word phores that means carry out. Coming on to the principle of technique. The principle is based, the technique, uh, the technique is based on the principle that the charged molecules on application of electric field uh, is, uh, moves, uh, moves depending upon their charge to mass ratio. Now coming on to the types of electrophoresis. There are the two major types known for the electrophoresis. First is the zone electrophoresis, while the second one is the moving boundary electrophoresis. Coming on to the first one, that is the zone electrophoresis. The normally uh, used uh, technique that is electrophoresis is the zone electrophoresis technique. In this uh, technique, the most uh, important things that is involved is the solid support. The particular uh, molecule that has to be separated uh, is then is added to a solid support and is constant into that particular boundary only and move in that particular zone. Uh, it mainly involves the uh, uh, it mainly involves the agarose electrophoresis or the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Now coming on to the particular uh, requirements of this technique, the first are the gel used for the technique, first is the agarose and the second one is the polyacrylamide. The agarose is made, made of the uh, monomers that is the agrobios unit. Uh, the agarose is a linear poly polymer which has been isolated from the seaweed. It is a co colloid form. Uh, the second one is the polyacrylamide which is a cross polymer uh, made up of the monomer acrylamide. Agarose is generally used for the separation of molecules which has a molecular weight larger than the 200 kilo deltons. Now coming on to the procedure for the agarose electrophoresis which is generally used for the separation of the nucleic acid especially DNA. Now, the DNA of different sizes can be sorted out by the help of this technique. Uh, it involves the following steps. First is the preparation of the sample. Now, if you have a sample that is the DNA, it involves, since DNA do not hold any natural color, so we add a bromophenol blue dye in the DNA uh, so that we can track the, tra track the uh, movement of the DNA. So, initially we prepare the sample by isolating it from that particular organism uh, which has to be sorted out. Now, the second step involves the preparation. Gel preparation. The gel is prepared. Gel is prepared into the TE buffer. After the preparation of the gel, it is solidified. Uh, since agarose has a neutral nature, so it is solidified in the TE buffer, and TE carries the charge which when electric field is applied. So uh, the third step, the ETBR is added as the visualization of DNA. Since DNA do not hold any natural color, so for the visualization of the DNA, then the ethidium bromide is added. The ethidium bromide intercalates into the DNA. Uh, in the, into the double-stranded DNA molecule and when the visualization is done, we can easily see the bands uh, appearing reddish orange. In the next step, that is the sample, uh, that is sample loading. The sample is added uh, in, with the bromophenol blue uh, and is loaded into the wells as you can see here. Finally, when the electric field is applied, normally 50 to 100 volt is applied. When then the DNA starts moving, uh, initially the sample, uh, initially the when the band, the, when the DNA starts moving, when it crosses the three fourth of the gel, the visualization, uh, the, the electric field is stopped and the visualization is done under a UV illuminator at the wavelength of 260 to 300 nanometer. Because of the ET, because of the presence of the ETBR, uh, we can see the reddish orange band. If the if, uh, if the DNA is there, the reddish orange band can be seen. And depending upon then with the help of a molecular marker, we can see the different size of the bands. That's all for the lecture. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more information, you may visit our website www.gurukpo.com.